Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, I found the box for the Vivitar Power Boost. It fell inside my couch, but I got to take it back because it does not light up when charging. The top of it, like they show you on the box, so I'm going to have to exchange it. But it charges. All right, this is a review of the Vivitar uh, BT Clock Radio. Now, I haven't tried it as a as the clock part where, where it would wake me up. I haven't tried the alarm part. Took me a long time to get this to set the temperature right, and it's still wrong. It's saying, I can't figure out how to set the temperature. It says it's 32 degrees centigrade. Even though I followed the instruction book, it's a royal pain, and I couldn't fix it. I did get the date and the time, and I've got it on Bluetooth, so I'm going to play this. And by the way, if you've wondered what the Kindle Fire looks like, for YouTube videos, there's a YouTube video of the Jingle Punks, uh, Don't Hate Me. This works very good for watching videos on Amazon Video and YouTube. There was some breakup and one video was very fuzzy. Uh, I watched the Grand Tour last night, three episodes with Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May. And this broke up a little bit, but it was the middle of the night. So this may be spotty because it's 8 o'clock in the evening. All right, I'm going to play this, and you can hear it. Now, I suspect that breakup is because of the time in the evening. I was listening to stuff at 2 and 3 and 4 in the morning. So, it didn't do this in the middle of the night. I don't know if it's because the router's in here and I'm in the living room. It wasn't doing that. But it may be that everybody's on YouTube at 8 o'clock at night. I don't know. But for $10, it's not a bad little speaker. Now, it's too small to hold this. I mean, it holds it, but it doesn't fit. The notch is too small. It will hold the iPhone, of course, and an Android phone. And um, in the back, you can charge it for three hours. I charged that device for three hours, and uh, it, it, it charged it. So it, it gives it a good charge, but I'll turn it off. It, it's not a bad little speaker. If you just want a speaker that you don't have to listen to headphones all the time, so I guess I'd semi-recommend it. It would have been a lot better if it would have gone on the wall and be plugged in. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great evening, a great weekend, a great holiday, and try to stay cool and safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.